Question five, kinematics. Uh, this is a projectiles question. A small ball is projected with a speed of 14 meters per second from a point A on horizontal ground. The angle of projection is alpha above the horizontal. Horizontal platform is at height h above the ground. The ball moves freely under gravity until it hits the platform at point B. The speed of the ball immediately before it hits the platform is 10 meters per second. We will always split the motion in a projectile's problem into the horizontal part and the vertical part. So we split the initial velocity into a 14 cos alpha horizontal component and a 14 sine alpha vertical component. At the point B, the horizontal velocity will remain the same at 14 cos alpha. And we'll write V for the vertical velocity at B. Now, as the speed of the ball is 10 meters per second, immediately before it hits the platform, then we know that v squared plus 14 cos alpha all squared would equal 10 squared. Now, the next thing that we do is that we consider the vertical motion and we use v squared equals u squared plus 2as. We know v squared is going to be 10 squared minus 14 cos alpha all squared from the first equation. The u squared will be 14 sine alpha squared. The acceleration is minus g. And so the 2as becomes minus 2gh. We rearrange it. Um, and we see we have a 14 sine alpha all squared plus a 14 cos alpha all squared. Using sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. We know that these two will add up to 14 squared. So we get 2gh equals 14 squared minus 10 squared. You can use the difference of two squares. 14 plus 10 times 14 minus 10. And we get h equals 48 over g, which equals 4.9. We're asked to find the horizontal distance from a to b. To do that, we need to know the time that it will be traveling. So again, we consider the vertical motion and we use S equals UT plus a half AT squared from the SUVAT formulas. So here we know the height is 4.9. That's the displacement S equals UT. So it's 14 sine alpha. And we're told sine alpha is 0 0.85 times T. Acceleration minus g or minus 9.8, so it's minus a half 9.8 times t squared. We rearrange this and we get t squared minus 2.429t plus 1 equals naught. We use the quadratic formula to solve it. We get two values for t. t equals 5.25. And t equals 1.9. So the 0 0.525 will be on the way up when it reaches a height of 4.9. And the 1.9 will be on the way down at b. So it reaches b in t equals 1.9 seconds. We know that the sine of alpha is 0 0.85, so we can calculate the cosine of alpha. That would be the square root of 1 minus 0 0.85 squared, which is 0 0.527. And then it's simply the distance AB will be the horizontal velocity, 14 cos alpha, 14 times 0 0.527, times 1.9 the time, which is 14.09.